Hello YouTube, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use the Map Studio, Dark Souls Map Studio. I'm using the uh, version uh, George, the, the one that George uh, has done. You can find it on uh, on Google. Uh, you can let me show you. Uh, you can find it on Google uh, when you look for Dark Souls Map Studio and you type in George. The other version did not work well with me so I used this one and I happened to uh, get uh, get into this one by coincidence actually it's not this one wait uh, I'm not sure what uh, what it is but I know for a fact that it was merged with another uh, program called Map Studio yes this one but I think there's someone named George who has done and added some features to it anyway so when you download the program whether it's the George version or the regular version, you can see that this is updated two, two days back. So you go to releases, you click here, and you go to uh, this file, you extract it, and then you get the program. So what I'm going to explain here is how to modify the parameters without needing to close the game. So we are going to look for Sun Princess. I have the Sun Princess ring. Uh, currently, it gives me around 10. Yes, it's 10 HP per second. I'm not sure why this is a minus. It has to be a minus, otherwise you will lose health. So if I put here 10, I will lose health in the game. So I don't want this. Let's make it a zero, and I want to increase the HP by. Okay, so this is increasing the HP by 0.2 percent. This is not a 2 percent. This is not 20 percent. This is 0.2 percent, which is uh, 0.2 divided by 100, which is 0.002 of your total HP. So I don't want this. Let's say uh, I want to make this, uh, for example, 0.75%. I'm going to hit enter, file, save, and this is not going to take to take effect in the game until I go to game hot hot reload params and uh, current param. So now it has reloaded. Let me show you how that looks like in the game. So okay. So let's. Uh, go into a place that I can get hit in. Let's let this guy hit me. Come on. I'm getting so this is how you change the ground in the game. And uh, this is this is uh, I have a mod that changes these hoods. So it's really, uh, it, it is much much bigger than this. So I have 1,800. So this is how you change uh, the number in the game so that you can have. Let me show you other things. Go up. Okay. So now let's say I want to change something else for example let's change well let's change the camera for example I can change the camera from here so I have the FOV Y uh, this is usually 43 the program shows you the vanilla uh, values which are the values that are in the game uh, originally but I have modified this into 60 I can change it into whenever wh whatever number I want now these are the areas in the game each area has an override for this which means that whenever you enter an area um, it it will change this number into the number uh, specific for the area like this is the first boss that I'm going to fight by the way this is the convergence mod so I have lots and I have lots of mods uh, mixed mixed together but this is the uh, convergence mod and this is a boss that you fight uh, at the start of the game so you can change this now let's say that I want to change the FOV for all these areas for example so what I do is control A and go to edit and then export CSV all and then I hit control A and control C now you need a program that analyzes spreadsheets it can be uh, for me it's LibreOffice you can use Google uh, spreadsheets or Excel that all works. Um, so let's open the program, and now we paste these files. And when we click Control V, I'm going to get this dialog box, and I'm going to 
um, have the comma here. So the, the comma is what separates each value from another. So let me show you how that looks like. So these are comma, se comma separated values. So ID name. And ha now I have ID and name. That's how the, uh, the spreadsheet program understands uh, what the what the comma does. Okay, so let's say I want this to be all 60. So this is all going to be 60. I can change them all into 60. And when I'm done, I can click Control A, Control C, and preferable, it's, it's preferable to have a program like Notepad++. I'm going to paste this all in. I'm going to select uh, one, one space. Actually, these are two spaces. So I'm going to avoid this. Um, okay, so this is one space. I'm going to hit Control H, and I'm going to replace every tab with a comma. So replace all, and then I'm going to click Control A, Control C, and uh, I can now hit Control A. Sorry, I can click, I can exit out of this, and I can import CSV, import all, and you can see that the import has a submit button. Whenever I click Submit now, it is going to change all these values, and I can go to File, Save, and then Hot Reload. Bear in mind that whenever you increase the, uh, the FOV, and this is a permanent change, whenever you do this, uh, the, the game might have some uh, FPS drops because you're, you're rendering the player from a larger distance. Okay, So this is how to use, this is just a quick explanation of how to use the Hot Reload params and how to use this program. Of course, this program has, comes, comes along with other features. You can change the text. Now, let's say I want to change whatever whatever thing I can I can change I could just click on one of these like this is an armor and let's say the fallen knight armor okay so this is the fallen knight armor gauntlets you can see the text and you can change it you can save and I think you have to reload for this one you have to close the game and reopen it for this one to work not sure about this though but uh, yes this is how it works you can change all these texts and uh, for the people that uh, are working with this, or already working with this, this might be familiar to them. So this is how to use the param editor, the text editor, and the map editor. Now I can I can open any maps from here. So let's say I'm currently in an Orlando, so I'm going to look for an Orlando. Um, and by the way, just before I forget, here you can click help. You can understand how to look for things. So let's say I want to look for ID 111. So I can find an ID of, of, a, specific, of a specific subject, uh, of a specific item. I can hit modified. I can write here modified, and I can get only the modified values. Not sure how this works, really, uh, because sometimes it doesn't detect the modified files until you click on one of them. So that's how it knows that this is mo a modified parameter. Um, so this is something to keep in mind. And uh, sort rows by ID. Yes, so we were talking about the map editor. I have here the an Orlando. It should be there. OK, this is an Orlando load map. Right click and load map. And whenever it loads, you can just uh, let me pause the video until it loads. Okay, so the map has loaded now. I can right click and move the, the camera around. And then using WASD, I can move around. And bear in mind that it's very important to have this enabled so that you can understand uh, the world. Otherwise, the world is going to look weird and you might not understand what's going on. So uh, this, is, this is an important thing to remember. Now these are some items, so, uh, sorry, some areas. You can see the whole area from here. You can modify things. Okay, some, some, of, the, some of these parts are not accessible in the game, I think. So yeah, but this is, this is how you uh, browse the map. Hmm. And look how, okay, so this is, okay, I know this area. 
Okay, so let's say I want to remove the uh, enable texturing. Okay, it's not going to take effect immediately until I reload. So I have to right click and hit load again, unload and reload. And whenever you're finished with a map, right click and hit unload. Because if you hit load, it's going to load two maps together. And that's a problem. Okay, so enable textures. So I can see the textures now. So I can see everything here. So yeah, so I think this is the before you fight Aldrich. And you should be a okay, so this mod removed all the NPCs in the area. Maybe for this one, maybe except this one. So yeah, this is how you I don't think these are regular NPCs. I'm trying to find the uh, something some NPC to so this is a bonfire you can click on it and hit properties and you get the whole properties of the bonfire itself um, I believe you can move it yeah you can move the bonfire like this but you have to move these uh, things with it I'm not really an expert on this but this is how this is generally how to use the program these items are not originally original, <laughs> originally in the game. These are added by the mod. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is mostly how to use the program. And uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.